Hey guys, so this is that Jackknife deck everybody's wanting. Uh, this is Taryn's deck. Taryn will be talking to you about it. Again, thank you for watching. If you like our material, please like and subscribe. We are working very hard to give you guys five days worth of buddy fight every week. Uh, be it matches or deck profiles. Go ahead, Taryn. Okay. Hello. Uh, this is my Star Dragon World deck, Jackknife. Currently, I have Future Gazer Jackknife as the buddy. That's only because I've been doing some alterations and he's been coming out the most at the moment. Uh, the second I get some more stuff to come in, he'll be being swapped out. But for now, we're going him since he's just the best choice. So, go ahead to main monsters. Of course, we have four of the buddy, Future Gazer Jackknife. He's really strong for the fact that he has a natural move, meaning that you can still have your center open, but he can still guard. His ability allows him to gain 2,000 power and defense when you have four or more uh, monsters just period in the drop zone, and then when you have double that, he gets penetrated. It's just super strong. It really helps out in situations, and with the right combos, it can get s extremely stupid. The second monster is... Radiant Guardian Jackknife Aster. Now, right now, we currently play two of it. That will be changing soon, but he it's just the strongest monster in the deck. He has 6,000 power, 3 critical, and 6,000 defense. But when you have a Dragon Arm in its soul, he basically is untouched. He's almost basically untouchable. He can't be destroyed by effects, and you can't take effect damage. And then your items can't even be destroyed. It's really strong. Now, here's a new addition to the deck, which is Full Liberate Jackknife. He came in the secret pack of the newest set. It's super strong. Uh, he's one gauge. You can put, put the top card of the deck to its soul. And it has the counter ability to get rid of a soul to restand it to attack again. It has 6,000 power, 2 critical, 5,000 defense. Overall, an extremely strong card and can make some ridiculous combos. Next, we move on to grade 1s. A size 1. Good. Uh, for first, we play Stu 2, Star Guardian Jackknife SD. He's probably one of the strongest size ones in the game, well, at least for Star Dragon World, because you get to call any size 2 Jackknife you want. Well, not even Jackknife, it could be any size 2 Neo Dragon. It's super strong, you just gotta pay its call cost. It helps me get out of a lot of situations. A uh, new addition is Star Guardian, no, Star Dragoner, Astro Beacon. So he's there if you don't have the Jackknife. You call him out, and then you can, uh, when you enter battle phase, you can put any card you want into his soul to draw another card. It's super helpful if you don't have the Jackknife in there, or you didn't, you don't even have to put it into his soul. You can put it into a Jackknife. It's super strong. Play two of it. We play two Star Dragoner, Luminous Blue, at, just so that we get that extra soul bonus. Super nice swing. He had swing. Uh, put a card from. Put a card from the drop zone into the soul of a monster. Really nice. Has soul guard, has one, two, one, and has the ability to gain more power for every card in the soul on your field. Next, we're heading on to the um, dragon arms. Dragon arm number one is Garble Anchor. We play one of him because really all is one you need. He has the counter ability to take him out of the soul, pay a gauge and a life to nullify any spell cast by your opponent. It's super nice. The other side zero we play is the forever amazing Dragon Arms Artilliger. Now he's probably one of the strongest Dragon Arms in the game. He allows you to nullify size two or less mon like nullify the abilities of size two or less monsters, and his that ability cannot be nullified. And it's extremely amazing. Next we're moving on to size ones. We play one Dragon Arms Road Worker. Roadworker has the counter ability to pay a gauge and destroy any size one or less monster on the opponent's field. It can be on your turn or your, or on their turn. It's super nice, but you can only do it once per turn, so you gotta choose carefully on what you use it on. Next, we play Dragon Arm Slowing. Dragon Arm Slowing's there just to get that extra gauge, because, you know, this gauge, extremely gauge heavy. Like, ugh. It is gauge heavy out the wazoo. But that's all there is to it. He just gives you gauge once per turn every time you attack with something in soul. The another size one we play is Dragon Arms Charger. You when you put him into the soul from either the deck uh, from the uh, battlefield or the drop zone, you can pay a gauge to draw a card. It's super nice and it comes in handy a lot of times. 
Next, we play Dragon Arms Radiant Alma. Radiant Alma has the ability to, if you have six life or less, you pay a gauge to give your Neo Dragon double attack. It's super nice. It comes in handy a ton, and it, if, with uh, play with the right cards, you can get multiple attacks off in a turn that are just devastating to the opponent. The final size one monster we play for Dragon Arms is Dragon Arms Stilt Fighter. Came in the secret pack of the new set. You, its effect is when it's called and you have a dr Neo Dragon with at least one soul in it, you can gain a gauge. Then Cross Knives, you can get rid of him while it, while he's in the soul to reduce the damage of anything you're taking to zero. It is super nice. Comes in hand, handy a ton. Yep. Next, we're moving on to size three Neo Dra the size three Dragon Arms. First one is biggest Dragon Arms Photon Lancer. This is a newest, one of the newer additions. He is a size three, has seven thousand power, two critical, seven thousand defense. But that's not really what we're here for. We're here for the ability, which gives two thousand power, two thousand defense, and the move ability to anything that it that it has um, that's in whatever it's on. It's super strong. Next, we play Jack Arms J Galaxian. Jack Arms J Galaxian gives all Jack Knights plus one critical, and also when they when you use your Impact Monster, it gives that Impact Monster the ability to not be nullified. It comes in clutch tons of times and is easily able to kill opponents quickly. Next, we play Biggest Dragon Arms Sonic Blast. He's a six three six. Pay two gauge to call it, but we're not going to really be calling these here. So. His ability is, when you're near Dragon with this card and its soul attack, you may pay one gauge to destroy whatever you want. Super nice. As long as it's on the opponent's field, it can destroy it. And the final size three is Great, Dra Great Dragon Arms, the main force. He ha he's a 4-3-6, you pay two gauge to call it, has the counter ability. If a Neo Dragon with this card and its soul were to be destroyed, you could pay a gauge once per turn to keep it from being destroyed or leaving the field. It is super strong, it comes in handy a ton, it really helps with those pesky matchups. Next we're moving on to Impact Monsters, and we only play two and they're the exact same. It is Jack Jackknife Galactical Punisher. We play two of it. It is a 10-3-5, you pay three gauge to call it and you put it on top of a, of a Neo Dragon. And then you add, when on call, you can add one card from the drop zone into its soul. It can be whatever you want. And its natural ability when it attacks is it has soul guard, penetrate, and it cannot be reduced. So combined with Jack Arms J Galaxian, it can't be reduced or nullified, meaning it's just a free four crit that they can't do anything about. It's super nice. Next, we're moving on to items. The first item we play, two of, is Star Magnum Dragon Pulse. You pay one gauge and one life to equip. When it attacks, if it deals damage, you gain a gauge. And at the end of each of every one of its attacks, you can drop a card to draw another one. And the other item we play is Dragon Force Style of Justice. This card really put this deck back in the back in the game. It is, you can play it at whenever you want as long as you have a jackknife on the field with two dragon arms in its soul. You pay two gauge to release it. It is incredible because its natural ability is, hey, you don't get to move. Super nice. And then if you have the Neo Dragon on the, full, on the, on the field, then it says, oh, hey, you get no abilities for your monsters and it's super strong. It has 6,000 power, three critical. It's just a beast of a card and it's really hard to deal with. It's amazing. Next, we have spells. We play four Earth Barrier. We have our center open a lot, so we're so we're going to be needing a lot of uh, spells to give us life, and just this comes in handy a ton, because you know who doesn't love life gain? Life gain's great in this deck. We also play four proto bear. Once again, just because we play with a center open with the occasional move, so we're going to need something to be able to stop those attacks. So, 
His, it's a counter ability, and you can only use these spells when you yourself are being attacked. So you can't stop it to stop them from destroying Jack. But you cast it and basically nullify the attack and gain a gauge. It's super nice. Okay, I got three of those gain eight life cards, and two for eight. We play three Star Jack repair. You can only cast it when you have a jackknife on the field. You gain one gauge and put a monster card from the drop zone into the soul of a Neo Dragon on the field. You only cast one of it once per turn. Super nice just to get some more soul in a jackknife and to gain that extra gauge that just really helps win the game. Next we play two jackknife history. You get two abilities to choose from. You either can add it to the soul of a jackknife or you can give the jackknife the 4-4 four, four, and counter attack. It's super nice and super helpful. It can be both played in Dragon World and Star Dragon World, so it's just great. <laughs> Next we play Fate Information. We have this here just to fill the drop zone and also just in case we can't get to Jackknife or in case we can't get to items because its ability is you pay one gauge, you check top three cards of the deck, you search for a size two monster or less or an item and add it to hand, you put the rest to drop zone. It is super nice. And the last card we play is Dragoner's Beat. Again, uh, you pay one gauge for this, and then it has two abilities. You can either give your item one extra critical and extra 2,000 power, or you can pay an extra life to search your deck for your, the item you need and add it to hand. It comes in clutch tons of times, whether I need to just get some extra critical to get to the win, or in case I have to grab the Dragon Force, because Dragon Force right now is like... Dragon Force a bust. <laughs> it's extremely stupid. But it either way, that is my deck profile, and you'll be seeing it once again later once I get the rest of the stuff I've ordered. This is so far the incomplete build. It is going to be changing relatively soon. But when that happens, we will give an update video for it. Thank you for watching.